One question that I always see posted in regards to Nextcloud is how do I add my trusted domain? And it's actually quite simple, really. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Okay, here we are at the dashboard for uh, Captain America, which is my main Unraid server for right now. Um, I do plan on doing uh, something else a little later and kind of downsizing because I want to lower our electricity bill. So uh, that's what I'm going to be doing. And I'll probably make a video about that. But uh, anyways, in order for you to add the trusted domain, uh, if you get that error, uh, it's easiest to go into uh, your Unraid dashboard and go into the command prompt. You get to the command prompt by clicking on this icon right here and it will pop up with the terminal. And again, this is uh, obviously, this is going to be an example of doing this on Unraid. Uh, so the directories should still be the same. Okay, and from the terminal, and let me go ahead and zoom in here a little bit so that way it's a lot easier for you guys to see it. Uh, that looks good. And so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to change the directory into this path here, and I'll put it on the screen or you can type along with me. Uh, so mnt user app data next cloud or whatever you uh, named the whatever you set this up as when you uh, created the container uh, www slash next cloud slash config I believe that's it yep and press enter and I'm gonna list out uh, everything that's in here and as you can see you've got the config.php and obviously I've done this already so uh, I set this up for this video um, and uh, that which is why you see the backup files here so you're gonna want to go in into nano to edit the config.php file config.php and you're in the configuration file and you'll notice that uh, you already have trusted domains here and uh, the reason why you're probably getting that uh, trusted domain error when you try to get into Nextcloud the first time is because the IP address or domain uh, however you're trying to access it from the browser uh, isn't on this list so uh, right now I'm actually accessing this through my um, through my tail scale network and stand by let me get my IP address for that real quick and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and add another uh, entry here we're gonna go number one and then equals greater than sign and I'm gonna paste my uh, tail scale IP address and we're gonna want to put it in port 444 again and close it out with a single quote and another comma just in case I just like putting that uh, trailing comma uh, just in case I need to add more uh, at a later time and while we're actually in here and if this is a new uh, install you're also going to want to put in a, I believe it was the default phone region. And just press enter here. We're going to add another entry. And we're going to put in default phone region. Close that. Equals greater than. And since I'm in the United States, I'm going to put US. Close that out. And another comma. And once you're done with that, you're going to go ahead and hit Control X, save my modified buffer. You're going to put yes, and we're going to write it to the config.php. And so press enter. And that's pretty much it. And of course, if you're not in the United States, 
just put in the region that you are in and save it there. And now what you're going to want to do is we're going to exit out of there. We're going to go back to your Docker. I like doing this. I'm not, I'm pretty sure you don't have to do this part, but I always like restarting the container. So I'm going to go into Docker. Then I'm going to find my next cloud instance. If it's down here towards the bottom. Yep, there it is. Uh, click on the icon and just uh, click on restart. All right, and once that's restarted, uh, by it saying started uh, right here, uh, you're going to want to give it about a minute or two uh, to fully load up. And once uh, that is uh, done, you can go ahead and go back into uh, your next cloud instance. I'm going to go ahead and put in my uh, IP address again from uh, Tailscale. So it's going to be that. And that put it in port 444. Enter. And it's not done yet. So we'll give it another moment. And it looks like it's starting to come up now. It's rebooting. Or, sorry, it's reloading. And there you go. And there you have it. Short and sweet really easy to do with a little bit of a bonus there. Uh, but if you have any questions, definitely leave them as a comment down below. Consider subscribing to the channel as it would definitely help out the channel. My goal is to actually reach a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. I'm pretty sure we can probably do it uh, by September, but you know, we'll see how it goes. But until the next video, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.